Hi again. In this tutorial, we will continue using the example Unity project unityinterface.zip. You can download it from our Moodle space or from the comments of this video. We have seen that selecting the 3D representation of an object in the scene window, we get its name highlighted in the hierarchy window. We can also select the object in the hierarchy window. Besides, we can see its properties in the inspector window. Any game object in Unity is composed of components. If we select, for example, the ball, we can see its components in the inspector. The first part is present in every object and holds its name, the same name that can be seen in the hierarchy window, its tag and layer that help to identify and organize objects. Also, next to the name, we have a checkbox, and then another checkbox next to a static and its drop down. We will see them in a different video. Below, we have the prefab buttons in this particular object because it is an instance of one of those prefabricated game objects, the prefabs. The first component is always the transform that holds the location, rotation and scale of the object relative to its parent, or the world if it has no parent like this ball. We can change any value in the inspector, either when the game is stopped or when it is running that can be a little bit dangerous. The name, just by clicking and typing in its text box. Its X coordinate by typing, or for example, by placing the mouse cursor over its label and moving the mouse with the left button pressed. You can undo most operations by typing Ctrl plus Z. Let's see how to move around or view in the scene window. With the mouse cursor inside the scene window, if you rotate the mouse wheel, you can zoom in or out. If you press the mouse wheel while moving the mouse, you can move parallel to the view. If you press the Alt key and the left mouse button, when you move the mouse, the view rotates. This top gizmo shows our orientation in the game world. To have the scene window with the same view as the game window below, we have to align the scene window with the camera. First, select the main camera in the hierarchy window. Then, go to menu game object Option, Align, View to select it. The coordinate axes in Unity are X in red for left and right. It could be west and east, for example. Y in green for up and down. Z in blue for backward and forward. Or south to north if X is west to east. You can switch between perspective and orthogonal projection by clicking on the cube in the center of the gizmo. You can also click on one of the axes of the gizmo to view the scene from that axis. For example, for viewing the scene from the top, click on the Y axis, either in perspective or orthogonal view. We now select the main camera and return to its view with the menu and with perspective projection. We can focus the view on any object by selecting it and pressing the F key in the scene window. Or by double clicking on the object in the higher key window. For example, Double click on CAN2. Let's see how to move 
rotate and scale an object. This is how to transform it. The toolbar has these five buttons that can be activated by keys Q, W, E, R, T. Q is for moving around in the scene view. W is for moving the selected object. You can see this axis in the can object. If I go to the toolbar and select instead of global axis, local axis, we can see that the axis change orientation. This is because it takes into account the rotation of the object. We change again to global axis. E is for rotating the selected object. You can see these arcs in the object for rotating it. R is for scaling the selected object. The manipulators also change for scaling. Scaling deforms the object. Ctrl plus C to undo. T is a special. Can be used for editing the colliders of 3D objects, which are the rep representation for collisions in the physics engine, or for editing user interface objects. We are interested by now only in how to move an object. So we click on the second button of the toolbar and see that in any case we can change values in the inspector or use the mouse with a manipulator. For example, by clicking and dragging the X axis, we move in that direction. Let's rotate a little bit the view. We can also click and drag the Z axis, or we can move in the X Z plane by clicking and dragging in this green plane. That will keep the object also on this floor. We continue in the next video. Thanks.